Dylan Thomas, do not go gentle on that good night. This is another individual that on Jeopardy you would want to throw out his name for a 20th century poet and such. Um, some background on this particular piece. Um, Thomas enjoyed a particularly close relationship with his father, whom he addresses in the Do Not Go Gently Into That Good Night. The elder Thomas, who was blind, encouraged his son's writing, and Thomas composed many of his early poems seated at his father's desk in the study of their home in Swansea. Uh, the point being, he was really close to his father. Okay? Um, this is a real famous poem, an emotional poem. Um, a poem that uh, obviously addresses his old man who's getting older and older and he's blind. And as we've seen in some of our poetry, you know, death is inevitable and it's coming. And so do not go gently into that good night, an allusion to don't just die off. And look at the repetition in some of these particular lines. Do not go gentle into that good night by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men, the last wave by, crying how bright their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight, and learn too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death, who see with blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Now we know a little bit about Thomas, <clears throat> excuse me, Dylan Thomas, and his close relationship to his father. You should be able to see the frustration, you know, if, if you've all had some loved one that was slowly kind of going and going and just giving up, but you know that their soul and they have so much life here, no, don't. Don't go, whether it was selfish on your part, just wanting them in your life a little longer, um, which isn't the, like the bad word of selfish. It's just, you know, maybe it was time for them that they should move on. Um, but do not go gentle in that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The wise men at their end know dark is right, so they know that death is coming. Because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men. And then he goes into descriptions. Good men, you know, crying about how bright their frail deeds might have been. So those that are living in the past, telling their old stories about how, oh, I should have done this, or I could have been somebody, I could have been a contender, you know, things like that. You know, wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight and learned too late, they grieved on its way, do not go gentle in that good night. Even grave men near death who see with a blinding sight, blind eyes, you know, don't go gentle and that's a good night. You know, fight, rage and push, push. But then ultimately, we find out at the end who he's addressing. In Wordsworth, we find out towards the end he's addressing his sister. Here, we find out at the end, who are you really talking about? Oh, we're talking about his dad. And so there's a greater meaning and a level of understanding to this piece. Then, and you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying light. That repetition, those, rep those lines are repeated for a reason. Okay, to push home the point. Fight, fight, rage. You know, look at my tears, look at my passion that I have. Don't just die off. Keep fighting, keep doing, and keep living. Okay, so um, this is a nice piece to, uh, to kind of wrap up our, our poems, um, you know, for, for, the, for the unit and for really the semester. Um, just keep fighting, keep raging, don't just settle, you know, keep going, okay?